Hello and welcome to Thought for the Day from St Peter's Bexhill. Are you old enough to remember the moon landings? My brother and I woke up with some difficulty in the middle of the night and watched the grey fuzzy pictures on our little television of that famous event. It was in July 1969 when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin stepped into the history books when they became the first people ever to set foot on the moon. That part of the story is well known, of course. Less well known is what Buzz Aldrin did to mark the momentous achievement. Later on, he wrote, Our power descent was right on schedule. With only seconds of fuel left, we touched down at 3.30pm. Now was the time for communion. I unstowed the elements in their flight packets. I put them and the scripture reading on the little table in front of the abort guidance system computer. Then I called Houston. Houston, this is Eagle. This is L.M. Pilot speaking. I would like to request a few moments silence. I would like to inv invite each person listening in, wherever and whoever he may be, to contemplate for a few moments the events of the past few hours and to give thanks in his own individual way. For me, this meant taking communion. In the blackout, I opened the little plastic packages which contained bread and wine. I poured wine into the chalice my parish had given me. In the one-sixth gravity of the moon, the wine curled slowly and gracefully up the cup. It was interesting to think that the first liquid ever to be poured on the moon and the first food ever to be eaten there were consecrated elements. Just before our, I partook the elements, I read the words which I had chosen to indicate our trust that as, as a man probes into space, we are in fact acting in Christ. I sensed especially strongly my unity with our church back home and with the church everywhere. I read, I am the vine and you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit, for you can do nothing without me. Amen.